I don't even know where to start with this. It's AOC's fault, man. Her stupidity is going airborne. People are actually contracting AOC. <laughs> man, let me tell you what's going on. Yeah. Okay, it's this great company called Wayfair. Yeah, right? it's like Home Depot 2.0, man. They right. got nice stuff there. Man. They got nice furniture, appliances, anything yeah. for the home. They You can get it at Wayfair. Yeah. Right? They got some good stuff in there. Comfortable beds. I got my kids some beds, man. Yeah, them bum beds, right? Comfortable, man. Wayfair got some clean stuff, man. Right? So this is this is the story. Yeah. There's an employee at mm. Wayfair, right? Okay. I don't know if it's a he or she, or maybe it's a... Don't go there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep gender out of this. That's a totally different story. <laughs> Employee notice over two hundred thousand dollars in beds, right? They're shipping it to the border, to the detention centers where they're housing illegal immigrants. Cause they at the border, mm -hmm. they're getting overwhelmed, so they're expanding, open up new facilities. Mm -hmm. So Wayfair got an order from a government contractor yes. and shipped the beds down, right? The kids need them beds, man. Of everything that's going on on the board, those kids are innocent, man. They shouldn't be sleeping on the floor. I, I, I think that's a great thing, man. Yeah, I mean, it's a detention center. Yeah, not only are they buying diapers, formula, baby wipes, now they're giving them beds, man. That's what they should. Yeah, because it's a detention center. Now, if it was a concentration camp, <laughs> they don't need beds. I mean, the people that's running a concentration camp not buying formula food or beds or clothing or anything like that. Right. So, the employee is pissed. Why would you be pissed over that? Those kids need those beds. And the employee starts talking. She got AOC. What? She got AOC, she called it. She called it. <laughs> now she's infecting everybody at Wayfair. <laughs> she told everybody at Wayfair, now that's 547 employees. They put together this petition, mm -hmm. gave it to the CEO, CEO, and if the CEO doesn't honor that, mm -hmm. stop selling stuff to them, they gonna walk out tomorrow. 547 employees. Bye. See you later. Don't nobody care. They, Wayfair's doing a good thing. Those kids need those beds, man. Them some damn good furniture, them damn good beds there. But when I first heard this story, man, let me rationalize how flawed these people thinking is. AOC and these 500 plus employees. This is how flawed their reasoning is. They're not saying that they hate those kids at the border or those people at the border. They're not saying that. That's not why they're not giving them That's beds. not why they're not giving them the beds. What they're trying to say is they think it's against humanity to stop people, to vet people at our border, and they should be able to come and go as they please. They think that that is against God's will, us having a border there. They think it's inhumane for us to vet people before Hum they come to our country. Human rights violations. That's a human rights violation. I don't know not one country that just let people come and go as they please. When I go to London, I need a passport. I need a visa. When I go to Australia, I need a passport. I need a visa. Yeah. These people are coming to this country, not through a legal point of entry, no paperwork, no visa, no identification. Half the time these damn kids is not even with their parents and we can't bet these people? If you don't bet them, you get 9-11. Yeah, people are gonna die. Uh, sex trafficking. You get diseases. You get drugs. What if somebody came over from Africa with Ebola and walked in? Yeah, just walked in here and did this. <laughs> You gonna start bleeding out your damn eyes. You gonna be bleeding so much you gonna be sweating blood. Yeah, you gonna be sweating blood. There's companies, I don't know the brands, but they're shipping formula, Yeah. diapers, the employees there, are y'all gonna walk out? Yeah, the kids need to eat, babies need their formula. They need diapers, they need baby wipes. If you don't wipe the kids ass, it's gonna get a damn butt rash from hell. Yeah, are y'all gonna stop that next? I mean, this doesn't make any sense. And actually, AOC, man, she couldn't be happier, man. Yeah. She tweeted some dumb shit. Pull it up. Well, it's not her fault, man. She called AOC, man. Yeah. There's a cheer for it. Yeah. It's called Mega Pills. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Wayfair workers couldn't stomach they were making beds to cage children. Caging children wasn't a problem when Obama was in office. You know why they had to build these cages? Because the border's been overwhelmed. Yeah. The, the border... And it's security is not being funded by Congress. Yeah. They don't have the money, so they're doing what they can. Yeah, I don't mean to digress, but you remember when Trump said we had a, a crisis at the border? Remember CNN, all the mainstream media? Remember Jim McCarthy went to the border? He said he don't see no crisis. Y'all remember that bullshit? 
Yeah. Nobody, everybody called him a liar. Now yeah. the truth is out. Where's CNN? Where's yeah. Jim Acosta yeah. now? Now they're calling them concentration camps. Look, and her tweet goes on. Wayfair workers couldn't stomach they were making beds to cake children. They asked the company to stop. CEO said no. Tomorrow they're walking out. This is what solidarity looks like. A reminder that everyday people have real power as long as we're brave enough to use it. I heard that before. She said that when she drove Amazon out of Queens. I think it's incredible. I mean, it shows that everyday Americans still have the power to organize and fight for their communities and they can have more say in this country than the richest man in the world. 25,000 jobs in her neck of the woods. 25,000 yeah. jobs, 100,000 a year plus in salary. And she pushed them away. And she's so incompetent, she said that she was going to keep the three billion in tax cuts that she was going to give Amazon. AOC, you don't have the tax cuts. You don't have the three billion dollars. Yeah, that was tax cuts. That was incentive for Amazon to come there and put jobs in your neck of the woods and you push them away and say, yes, this is what power looks like. <laughs> Solidarity. Look here, man. You supposed to be making new laws and helping American people and you supposed to be helping these people that's trying to come to this country and seek asylum. But you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're more like an activist. Yeah, an activist and working for Congress don't go together. You shouldn't be in Congress. Because the only thing you're doing is dividing this country. Div Everybody's talking this bullshit that's, that our president is disseminating all this damn rhetoric, rhetoric dividing our country. What the fuck are you doing? You got 500 employees walking out of welfare because we're we trying to supply beds to children to sleep it on the floor. And they're walking out because they think it's concentration camps because you started it. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. That damn AOC is airborne. That shit sounds deadly, too. I ain't going outside, man. Either. Yeah, somebody come up to you. <coughs> <coughs> we got some new shows coming.